Good morning, year one. How are you all? I'm Miss Maru Idol, your sign. And I hope everything is okay. Today we are going to discuss a new topic, which is talking about horses. Are you ready? Let's start. First, we are going to study the movements. You know that we are living thing, right? And the living things can move. You remember this? Yes. Our world is full of things that move. Here, what can you see in the picture? The first picture here is the picture of the boy which is diving. The diving means that he goes under the water, right? And this is movement. This boy is running, right? And the boy he is he's sitting on his chair. This is a type of movement also. And the boy here is swinging. And the swinging mean that moving backwards and forward and also this boy and girl they are jumping so we have to move in our life right and we can search for food we are living thing also animals can move right the animals can move because they are living things so here there are different kinds of movements for animals the snake can slither slither and the purse flying in the sky right the rabbit hop the monkey jumping from one tree to other tree jumping and the horses are running are running so they are living thing they have to move but non-living thing they cannot move you remember Look at these pictures. What is doing? What is he doing in the two pictures? In the first picture, the boy he just pressing on the ball or touching the ball. He moving the, the ball away from him, right? He moving the ball away from him. So this is called push. This is called push. And the second one, this is a toy, is called a pull back right so the pull back most of the boys know this car it's called pull back we have to pull it back so and leave it so it will move move towards move in the other direction this is called pull back so here the pushing like push pram push the swing to moving away from you right when she push the cart of the baby she push it away right so this is push so what is what the meaning of push the push is a force when I make the object move away from me this is called a push away from me this is called push and the push is a force what the meaning of force the force is it needs energy so I can move think right so the push is a force that make the objects move away from us the second here is pulling the pull this boy is easier for him to pull the string than to push it right so he pull the string pull a toy and I pull the drawer I pull a drawer to open it so I can use it in every day in our life the push and pull so the pull here is a force that make the objects move towards us towards us mean to us okay I need things to come to me like the, the boy he pulled the string so he can make the toy come to him right so this is a force also so look at these two pictures in the green one he press on the line so he push it so the direction will be away from him the direction will be away from us and the second one like to like we opening the door i pull i pull the door so i move the object towards us to me come to me Look at to the direction of the arrows and they are called forces.
So, what can forces do? We use the forces every day in our life, right? Push or pull can help us in each in everyday life. So the car here, the pushing the car, the pushing the car, the moving the car away from them. And this is this is a camera. I just press on it. I push the button so I can take a picture, right? So I can use the forces every day in our life. So. <clears throat> Like what also? I using my energy to open the jar, right? And I using my energy to write. This is force. I using my energy to press and type on the keyboard, right? And I using to zipping our zipper or my zipper by touching the zipper and pull it okay toward me so this is a force okay and to open it to the other direction this is a force thank you guys i wish that you understand the force and you can apply anything in the picture in your at your home wish you all the luck and see you soon